Hi, sixth grade. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're with me today. And we have a new project. It's very easy. Um, have fun with it. And uh, we'll start right away. Um, let's say our father, please, first. And then we'll go into our art project. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, so, uh, we're just going to do a, a basic drawing today, and we'll continue with our artist series on Friday when we're on Zoom. And then we'll do a, a piece of artwork related to that artist. Um, we're not doing pop art anymore because we're done with that. Um, we're going back to um, old period artists. Uh, so you'll have fun with that. Um, I'm going to try to pick an artist. Uh, we work mainly with American artists this past uh, couple of weeks. So we're going to pick an artist from a different country. And um, this week I'm going to pick an artist uh, from Mexico. Uh, so we'll do a, art, a piece of artwork uh, related to an artist from Mexico. Um, that'll be a surprise. Um, it'll be on your lesson plan, so you will see it, but I don't want to take up this whole time discussing that with you. Hope you had fun doing the projects last week, and once again, make sure that when you um, send it to me, that you send it to me on a JPEG, please. And make sure, please, 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 that you have your name on the bottom right or bottom left with your grade, um, on the front of the picture this time. Also, if you want to hold it up next to you and have a picture of you and your picture, um, that's cool too. Just drop it as a JPEG into my um, homework drop, my art homework drop. And that'll be great because that's a lot easier for me to uh, pull up on my Apple computer. Okay, so what we will be doing today is we'll be drawing a camera and the lens of the camera will have a, a picture of what you're taking a picture of. So it'll be fun. It's very simple. I drew this earlier, very easy, and I'll show you how to draw it. And if you see inside, I just did a, a real rough sketch of a book and a flower pot and a little uh, can with pencils in it. But you can draw whatever you want inside. It could be as simple as you want. It could be a mountain and a tree or a palm tree and the beach. You have to make believe you're looking through the camera and that's the picture you're taking. So this would be the picture I would be taking if I'm looking through my camera. So I'm taking a picture of a table with a flower pot and a book on there and a little uh, cup that has uh, pencils in it. So that's the picture I'm taking. So once again, if you want to do a little beach scene or a little river scene or a lake scene and there's a little boat in there, that's fine. If you want to take a picture of your dog or your cat or anything you, you think you want to take a picture of. That's what you're going to draw on the inside of the circle. Now I'm going to show you how to do this because it's very easy to do. As you can tell, it's simple shapes. I made it real as simple as I can so you're not having a hard time. It's like an old-fashioned camera so you don't have to have a hard time um, drawing this. And so the first thing you will do is you can take anything that's round. I have my tape here and it's perfect because I've used a lot of it. So I'm just going to trace this and then I'm going to trace the inside of that. So how do I do that? I take my paper and I put it up against my paper and I'm going to trace the outside of it and the inside of it. 
And so I'm doing that quickly and you can do that. You can take any kind of circle that you want. I just did that. And you can take a cup if you want. You can take anything that's round and just trace it. And if you can't find anything, then just attempt to do it freehand. Then the next thing I did was that I made a rectangle around it. I used my ruler and all I did was I draw the line and it's really easy at the top of this circle and the bottom of this circle. So now I will do that. And all you have to do is bring one side a little further out than this side. This side will be shorter because this is what you're taking the picture with. And this will be, you know, the camera where you push down on the button. And so I will do that now for you. And you just draw your line right on the top and you draw another line on the bottom and I'm using a ruler and remember like what I said I made this side too long so this side should really end about here and this side can be longer so I kind of made myself a guideline. Remember, I taught you how to do that, how to make gu guidelines. You just put a little dot, little dot, and you connect it. And you connect your guidelines. So I did that. I brought my line down just like it is here. And I brought it down. And that's it. So now I do a trim around here. So now this has to be wider than this. I try to keep this the same width around so it kind of looks nice. And so I just did this and, and take it down to about mm, a quarter of an inch from the circle. And because the, uh, the circle is about a quarter of an inch. So I did that. And you do that around your paper. And you see how I brought this down? And this is probably about, let's see, this is about an inch and a quarter from the top. Because what you have to do is you're going to have to finish off your picture. And so now what I do is I bring that down and I make that little frame. And that's about a quarter of an inch because it's about the same. Try to judge it with your eye. You can do this freehand if you want, you know, and just keep it kind of neat. Or use your ruler like I did. And so now you have this piece. You made your circle and if you don't have like a tape or something then you can just do the inside of the circle. You go down about an inch and a quarter. You can, you can view it from your eye visually. You can do it that way too. And then it's about try to keep it the same distance. I just used a quarter of an inch and I went around. Now what's missing? Missing pieces. You have this piece and you have this piece. So you put in this piece on the top and that's simple. It's just a rectangle. I put in that piece and this piece curve a little bit. Curve this piece curve your edges. You can do them straight and then curve them and then just curve it. So now we've got the camera pretty easy. Once again use a circle 
just do a rectangle, make this longer on this side, a little shorter on this side, just to fit in your piece here, your, what you're looking through here, and then decide what kind of picture you want to put in here. Keep it simple. You don't have to um, worry about it's got to be some phenomenal. Only what it, whatever you want to do. Uh, maybe boys want to take a picture of a car. You can draw a car in here. Um, girls, I don't know. Maybe you want to take a picture of a dress you like. <laughs> Anything you want. Now, don't forget to color it. And you can color it however you like. It can be black and white. You can do it all black and white. Let's use this piece. You can do this in black if you want or however you want to do it. I'm just going to go real quick now. It's just sloppy copy. You can do it however you like to do it. And so I'm just going to do something like that up here and maybe something in the reverse angle on the bottom. Maybe I'll go in the opposite direction. However you want to do it, whatever color you'd like to use, that's up to you. Then we go into 